The biggest event in my close to 18 years on air happened today. Paul Watson, one of my best researchers, was about to come on as a guest. And he said, Alex, they have these big sites with data dumps of photos and news feeds. There are guys in uniforms, the same boots, the same pants, the same black shirts and coats with backpacks all over the last mile. And there's people walking around with what looks like detonators in their hands. And all this is going on. And there's like patsies whose bags match the wreckage of what the news put on air and said was the remains of the black canvas bags. So we went on air with this. And five minutes after, it's during break, and I watched Wolf Blitzer panicking going, uh, oh, I guess they're going to arrest somebody later. And they've got all this evidence, and it's footage from inside a shopping center. And I'm like, well, wait, that's the footage we've got. And so they were responding right then because they already knew about this. These were public videos and photos for almost two and a half days. And it was hiding in plain view because all over it are men wearing Navy SEAL caps with the Punisher logo that all the SEAL teams wear, identical to what Chris Kyle wore. And you see Chris Kyle in his photos wearing the tan combat boots, the tan pants, the black shirt, same deal over and over again. And we have the photos and the videos of all of this. And we have the eyewitnesses who've confirmed that indeed that they were told, it's a drill, don't worry about guys in backpacks everywhere. Uh, there were people on the roof with, with binoculars looking down onto the athlete's village at the start. Um, there was dogs uh, with their handlers going around sniffing. Um, for explosives, and, and we were told on a um, loud announcement that we shouldn't be concerned. This, this was just a drill. So there were all these black backpacks so that police who weren't compartmentalized couldn't stop what was happening. And the real evidence of this uh, being a false flag is that they've covered up that, and they lied about it in the press conference, the drill that's now been confirmed, that was in the Boston Globe, that was covered in News 15, and, and since the National News and others have talked to the marathon coach that witnessed all this, announcing, everybody be calm, don't worry about the guys with the backpacks. You see the photos, the men that look like SEALs, they look like military, bottom line, are standing around in control of the situation with their backpacks on their cell phones right in the area across the street where the bomb goes off where they have the patsy. And I said, if this is the real Patsy, because his straps of his backpack match the FBI photos of what was left of the backpack, they won't be able to release this now because we have all the John Doe number twos, threes, four, fives, and sixes already digitally online. It isn't like Oklahoma City where the feds could declare, hey, we're going to you know, say national security on all these 17 surveillance cameras and, and confiscate the VHS. This is out there. And so then they announce, we have arrested the suspect. We're, we're, we're going to release it. And then they said, well, now we're not, and there's not going to be a press conference, and there wasn't an arrest. Ladies and gentlemen, we have absolutely blown their program wide open because they can't show the patsies who are right there where the flags were, right there where the bomb went off, on all these different video cameras, uh, showing different angles of it in photos. They can't show that when they're surrounded by guys in kind of the off-duty Navy SEAL uniform that the general public doesn't notice, but that is black shirts, black jackets, and khakis, and tan combat boots. This is incredible, ladies and gentlemen. This is off the charts, and the media is like, well, we've never heard of this before. They didn't arrest the guy, and they've evacuated the courthouse he was supposedly in and for whatever cover-up, and now there won't be a press conference, and... Who knows what's going to happen with Obama tomorrow now? The whole script is screwed up because people basically looked at what was happening. So, if a tree fell in the forest and no one was there to hear it, did it make a sound? We're here watching this, the drills, our reporters at the press conference. They're acting incredibly suspicious as soon as he brings up false flag and drills at the press conference. Was there any prior knowledge, Joe? Because according to BostonGlobe.com, they said they were doing drills this morning for the same exact thing that happened, according to BostonGlobe.com. Now, was you guys given any warning ahead of time of this uh, taking place? 
as I said earlier, there was no specific intelligence. Uh, we certainly increase uh, posture around a big event like this. All of those things happened in preparation for this event, but there was no specific intelligence that anything was going to happen. Did you take any questions? Well, sir, why were loudspeakers telling people in the audience to be calm moments before the bomb went off? Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security uh, sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? No. Next question. That's it. Why was people being told prior? 9:30 tomorrow morning. Why was people being week. told prior to the bombs going off to stay calm? Yeah. That's a false flag, gentlemen. Just to put more TSA on the street to rob our civil liberties. These are the signs, and then you have Bush, Cheney, and Obama being indicted by a congressional bipartisan committee for premeditated torture and telling the military to carry out criminal torture. You've got that coming out while this is happening. There is a major shakeup at every level. And the fight for the heart and soul of this country is happening right now. But this is unprecedented. And, and folks, you know I don't go on air and say this is the biggest thing ever without it being huge. This is hands down the most out of control, wild, breaking news that we've ever brought to you. And I, quite frankly, I don't want to be the person breaking this. This is incredibly dangerous. I just hope all of you viewing this realize the magnitude of it. Go to Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, get the photos, the videos, archive it, put it on your blogs, because they can't roll out the patsies now that, you know, the bombs blow up and they're running with their clothes half off like, like a cartoon character or something. They can't do that now because all their people in the drill are there. And again, the drill is used where most people in the drill aren't involved, but that way you could just detonate a bomb with somebody in the drill and then blame it on them. But you bring the patsies in, the Lee Harvey Oswalds, the Tim McVeighs, to be part of this. This is unprecedented. And, you know, I went and bought champagne four years ago when the Copenhagen documents came out that they were fraudulently lying about global warming to create a global tax. I popped champagne on the air. I, I called it a Death Star exploding event. Um, this dwarfs that. If you take this news and get it out to people, this is a huge defeat. I mean, this is a huge defeat and a testament to the people. This, this false flag is in chaos. I commend the crew. I commend you, the viewers and listeners. It's up to you whether this thing gets millions of views. Everybody needs to see this. Uh, they are in disarray right now. I've talked to Dr. Pachenik and others. Clear false flag uh, to basically go after the American people. Uh, this is amazing. This, this, this is a devastating victory, uh, especially if we use it. So uh, back to InfoWars Nightly News. The rest is up to you.